In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 31 to 36. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats, He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me in prison, and you visited me. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Team Sheep. If we get to choose our side in today's scripture, and we do get to choose a side, I would choose the right side. I want to be a sheep, not a goat. Years ago, when I taught in one of the primary grades, I recall a conversation with my students that went sort of something like this. I asked the children how they could be more like Jesus. You know, how they could help others. Well, one student suggested that if someone fell on the playground during recess, he would help them get up. And I asked, what if no one falls down today? Then what will you do? And another student thought, if a classmate drops a pencil, she would pick it up and give it back to them. And I asked, 
And what if no one drops anything today? What else could you do? Ultimately, I wanted my second graders to have lots of ideas about how to help others. We need lots of options and a long list of suggestions for ways to act like the hands, heart, and feet of Jesus for others. We are surrounded by opportunities to help those in need. No one can do everything, but everyone can do something. I think the scripture today starts a similar list of ideas. It's an extension or a continuation of the initial guideline for how to live outlined in the Ten Commandments of the Old Testament. It doesn't replace the Ten Commandments. Those are still key rules to follow. But is it really enough not to steal or kill someone? The final judgment will include not only the bad things we didn't do in our lifetime, but the good things that we did do specifically for other people. He says, I assure you, As often as you did it for one of the least of my brothers, you did it for me. Joining Team Sheep won't happen by accident. The season of Lent is the perfect time to focus our attention on others. I challenge you to spend a few extra minutes today reflecting on where your help might be needed the most. Then don't stop there. We're not simply creating a list of good deeds but acting on those deeds to show that we love and care for others. When we do it for the least of these, we do it for Jesus himself. With a deep and abiding trust, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but But deliver deliver us from from evil. evil. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. Loving God, sometimes my heart turns in every direction except towards you. Please help me turn my heart to you to gaze upon you in trust and to seek your kingdom with all of my heart. Soften my hardened heart so that I might love others as a way to glorify and worship you. With a humble heart, we pray. Amen. You can't see me, but... I'm fidgeting with my humility stone as I'm speaking, reminding me that I am third, but also of a quote that I came across from C.S. Lewis that I really love. I want to share with you as we end our prayer today. He says, Humility is not thinking less of yourself, It's thinking of yourself less. And may our thoughts be upon God, who blesses us now in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us today in prayer. We'll see you tomorrow.